it's Sarah and today I am back with another video so today what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys a short back stretching routine if you just want to get a good stretch for your lower back but do not want to spend a lot of time and it also works for a good warm-up routine if you want to try to work on getting a skill that requires a lot of back flexibility but you know you just have to warm up before attempting something like that so that your back can bend enough and one of the main reasons that i'm making this video is because i've noticed that in a lot of my follow-along routines for the stretching i mean sometimes i will have specific stretches for skill the same just warm up general get a flexible back thing is kind of the same so I thought I would just make it in one video, which is this video, as opposed to just showing the same routine in every single video. And also this routine is meant to be short. I do also have a longer back stretching routine, which is obviously going to do more because it's longer, but this one is meant to be short. So the first thing we are going to do is two stretches. We're going to be doing six And now we need to stretch. And now we are going to do something similar, but instead of bringing our leg all the way down in between the kicks, we're going to just be doing little stretches 20 times. And now just 20 breaths in and you'll be able to do this. Okay, and now that we have done that, we are going to try to do 10 of the right leg swan exercise, which is just where you don't use the help of your hands, you try to keep your feet on the floor, and you come up, and then come back down. This is good because it works on your back straight. Okay, and now we're just going to try to hold a chest stand for however long you want. I generally do not like to hold these for very long, but you know, a short amount of time. Also, bending your feet can help you go over more if you, by bending your feet, I mean your knees, because you're struggling to go over, bending your knees can help you. was how long I wanted to hold it, but I didn't do it. I want to hold it for longer or a little bit less long. Can't be perfect, but we'll see. And now 
we are going to do one of the rising swan exercise but try to hold it for as long as possible i do not have the strongest back so if you want to hold it for longer than me you can just pause the video Okay. We could have probably held that for like a little longer, but you know my feet were starting to come up, so I can't really do that as long as I can. And then for our last stretch, it's going to be a lot like the seal stretch, but you put your arms on a wall, try to get it at a 90 degree angle, and push up. Also, try to move as close to the wall as you can to get the best efficacy of the stretch. And if you like, you can try and bend your feet and add your high pitch, your feet if you want a more stretch. I know, I'm making a really dumb face right now. <laughs> okay. And then after doing that stretch, you can see it's just stretch your back the other way. I like to just lean forward, and I know some people will like to try and do two stretches at the same time and like do a hamstring stretch, but I don't really like doing that because I feel like in a hamstring stretch, to get the most efficacy, you try to like keep your back as flat as possible. And here we're trying to round our back, and also. I just like this to be a comfortable thing, and hamstring stretches are not comfortable, and some people like to just like go deep like a pose or whatever, I just like to warm my knees and work my back a little bit. Exactly. And then sometimes if I feel like this is just making my back too flat, I will go up a little bit and then just try and fill in the little chest to work my belly button, but I can't bend them all so yeah. It's just about making your back feel better. It's not really a competition of like who can bend the most. Okay, so that was the end of the short stretching routine. I hope you all enjoyed it.